Jet Bricks here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lego Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Newt's Case and Magical Creatures, which includes four minifigures, three buildable figures, I guess. Has a total part count of 694 pieces and retails for $50 in the United States. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. So here is Newt Scamander, which is exclusive to the set, specifically by the torso and face print. He does come with the orange wand and a double-sided face, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, right there. You can see his other expression right there. Mine is kind of a little bit of misprinted, if you can kind of see right there. But he does have a really nice back torso printing. I, do, I still think the hair piece is pretty inaccurate, but that's all right. However, the inaccuracy here is Picket. Can you tell what is Picket right here? No? Oh, well, that's this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I actually just thought that was a plant by the press release, but yeah, no, it's actually Picket. And of course, he does come with the Niffler. The only way you can get this piece is with the uh, minifigure series, which the CMFs are already retired, so sorry about that. But the design of this is really awesome. Really nice sculpting on this guy, for sure. I never actually said this, all the figures in here are exclusive, and Queenie Gold seems no exception. This is the variant of her, I guess, nightgown kind of thing. And the design of this is really nice. The, the hairpiece is the same from the CMF series, but she does have an alternate face print where she's kind of shocked right there. But her, but her regular face print is this really, really happy expression. She does come with a black wand, and also she does have a really nice pink torso and leg print. All the pieces here are exclusive besides her hair piece and the wand. There's of course Jacob Kowalski, which his accessories are the chicken bone and this umbrella piece. And the design of his torso print is exclusive, and however the... But what's really interesting is that it's the same version as the CMF version, but with a new torso print over the CMF one because if you look closely at that you can see how it's the same as the CMF version except it has like the I guess vest that he was wearing in the movie and also you can see how his alternate expression is has the little buckle on his helmet so that's actually really cool they included that they do also include his helmet as well and it just represents the scene very very nicely finally there's Tina Goldstein this one kind of looks exactly the same as the one from the Lego Dimension sets and also the really difference here is the it's kind of just like an open torso print like the The coat that she's wearing is opened a little bit and however the face print is the same from the CMF series as you can see on the back But the best part here is a hair piece coloring which it's Black Widow's hair in that brown which is very useful really do like the design of that and Yeah, really cool figure though I'll take a closer look at those beasts so here's the design for the Okami build, and the design of this is pretty nice. Just, there's this one glowing feature that I just dislike a lot about this. It's how hard it is to stand up. Like, you see how he has to nudge it a little bit? Like, it's impossible to get to stand up. Like, this is really hard to get exactly even. Because it's just so heavy with these big, giant, purple, like, purplish pink wings. But the design of it looks nice. It does use like an elf's head piece right there and you can close the mouth and open it just like that. And it is held by ball joints and you see the wings can also fall off easily. You see that? Like, oh, uh, that makes me mad a little bit. Um, and you can see how that just continues throughout the entire thing. It, I mean, you can get some good posability out of it. It's just like, it's hard to stand up. And the wings fell off again. This is apparently the Thunderbird and the design of this is really nice this is definitely the best set of all of them it's got this really nice gold trim to it as you can see right there and especially on the wings like the reflection on that is really nice and i think it uses the same piece as okami and you open that up let's see you can just i guess put food in it and whatnot 
let them eat some stuff. And I ever the printing on here is very nice. There's also a sticker right there, a sticker right there. And I think the wing pieces here are new and exclusive with the coloring on the wings. And of course they do have these tail pieces right there and you can move this up and down. And does use some gold bars right here and has some gold talons right here. And the posability on this guy is pretty nice as well. If you can, his feet are held together by ball joints, as you can see right there. A rumpet, a rumpet, and man, the design of this looks pretty good. I think the moving on the head looks pretty nice. The front of it can pop off very easily, and I do not like that. Um, however, there is an exclusive print right there for the eye, which they actually give you an extra one, and it does have some orange translucent pieces right there, and the design for the legs are pretty well done, and you can move those like so, and it does have the posability on the feet for each one of the four legs, and it looks pretty blocky, but when you look at, when you think about it from comparing it to the movie, it looks pretty good, and of course it is from that scene where Jake Kowalski was running from it, and they had to put him back in the case. So this is a crazy scene right there. So here's the exterior for the case. The design of this is really nice. I think it looks like a case, and of course it's supposed to be meant for a younger child. Of course my fingers can't, literally only one of my fingers can pick this up. So, but yeah, this is really meant for children. It does have a stickered piece right there, stickered piece right there. Nothing else really. It's it looks nice and I think the studs on here look pretty good. If you're thinking like, oh that looks ugly with the second pieces. Well there's really nothing else to do and I think the color scheme that they got in it looks pretty good. But enough with the rambling, let's see how this boy opens up. I saw the title of the video is so like most creative Lego set ever. Well as you can see why it's so creative it's just like Lego has never done anything like this before. So really you just open this up like that. You have to open these out, put the ladder up, shut those, and then open it up from the hinge right there. And then boom, you get this little playset area. So the whole design for this whole thing is pretty, really, really nice. There is a lot to go over, so first you can look at this whole area over here. So you guys can see there is a little hatchet and then also a little broom in that yellow coloring. And I think how they did the sink here works pretty nice. It does, I, I don't even know what this is. It kind of just looks like a giant pile of crap, <laughs> honestly. So if you look over here, we do have a nice little sticker right there. It does have the 2018 leaf piece. It does also have a little secret area, as you can see right there, that is Lita Lestrange on a little sticker 2x2 tile, which is not, that's pretty cool. I think it looks like her, just, it's okay, but, um, we'd rather had a minifigure of her, but as you can see, there is some more translucent pieces right here, which I'm assuming are supposed to represent potions. It's just like this whole area right here looks like that one scene from the first movie when Jacob first goes into his case. And then over here you do also have some more plant life I want to say. And as you can see it's definitely meant specifically for the Niffler. Like the gold gives it away immediately. You can just put the Niffler up on the stud right here. And, it, and of course he has to go ahead and guard his gold. And the whole look for this whole area is pretty good. I do like how this came out. This looks very elegant, especially in this like area right over here. It does have this like, bucket right there. It does have a little nest for an egg. And what they use here is the Craven the Hunter neck attachment. But I think that's pretty clever in how that came out. So yeah, really, really do like that whole design. And really this is how you close it up. Literally the opposite of what you did at the beginning. You shut that. Open these up, put the ladder back in. I should zoom out a little bit so you can actually look at it. And so then you shut these two, and then you shut that. All right, well that's it for the build set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final part. 
the box is pretty big. Like, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. It does have some nice artwork in the corner right there. You can see right there. It does show in the corner right there how it can transform. And on the back, you can see how the play features open up. The weird thing is, is that it does have like hole punches. Like that, it was like that kind of box size. And it's not like I ordered this off of eBay or anything. I actually got this from Target. So that was pretty weird. What was weird is that my mom got like a version, another copy of this for my little cousin for his birthday. And really it had like the tape cutting thing. So I don't know. So this would've gotten a lot higher rating. Like if you could hear my voice that I had a really high feeling about this, even though my voice doesn't sound too well today. But the minifigures in here are great. The, the builds for the uh, creatures are really nice. The design for the suitcase is really nice. The play feature is really nice. The interior is really nice. But I, there is some really huge glowing flaws that really bump down the letter rating I'm giving this set. <laughs> like for example, one big glowing flaw is you can't put the beast inside of the suitcase. What? That actually disappoints me a little bit. Like, you would think, you would think about thinking that you would be able to put the beast inside of the suitcase. But that's not the case here. You literally just display them around them. What? It doesn't make sense. But sure, the price to part count is really good. 694 pieces, almost 700 pieces for $50. Sounds really nice. But analyze that. You could have at least, I don't, I don't know, just make the set a thousand pieces, but then make the build, like make the set a hundred bucks. I would have been fine with that. And you could have at least made it larger, like made the case larger and you could be able to put the beast inside of the case. Like that would have been awesome. Better yet, also put the minifigures inside of the case. Like you can't even do that. All, only thing you can put in there is a freaking nip is the freaking nippler which don't get me wrong it's a cool piece but you can also get that mini figure series also another big flaw here is uh the posability on the beasts themselves besides the thunderbird i think the okami and the other thing <laughs> is has really bad posability like That, that's all you need to do to get the head to fall off like that's annoying that is annoying but yeah not great as a final verdict as you would think but you got kind of uh, kind of understand where i'm coming from that's all i'd raise set of b it's pretty good by itself but when you look at all the stuff that should have been in the sets it's not great so yeah but yeah, that's the first review. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more videos by me, Jack Brits. I will be back tomorrow. That's right, I'm stuck here forever. Hopefully not. I haven't even gotten any ad revenue yet. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another review. Most likely, unless there's some big news announcement. But yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.